First, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Bansi, Dr. Rutul, Dr. Tarvindra, Dr. Deepak for inviting me uh, and giving me a chance to speak at this audience. So I think uh, exercise during pregnancy, it's not a rocket science. What we advise to our routine patients who are not pregnant, almost same things uh, we do it for pregnancy. But there are certain uh, differences and certain cases which have to be taken during pregnancy. So I think this slide, this slide. So I think whenever we go for the uh, major meets, it is very difficult for us uh, to get the main cause of uh, uh, food, maybe lunch or dinner. So at times we directly go for the uh, uh, deserts. So this slide is like a desert uh, for my presentation. So I'll just tell you the crux of the matter that somebody who is not doing any physical activity that should start gradually. Somebody is already doing physical activity. They should keep on doing it. Uh, they must also do muscle strengthening as well as the uh, weight bearing exercises. And uh, importantly, uh, thing to know is that they must do at least 150 minutes uh, per uh, week. That is almost 30 minutes per day, which is of course advice to even non pregnant people. So the most of the things are same. Now, what are the advantages of doing exercise during pregnancy? That you will reduce constipation, bloating, improve mood, risk of developing high blood pressure is uh, reduced, uh, you maintain your fitness, improve your strength. Decrease the risk of gestational diabetes, which is very, very important, which you are uh, uh, hearing from uh, uh, yesterday. Improve sleep and mood. And of course, ensure healthy weight gain. This will skip because we already uh, heard a lot. So, what is the role of exercise in GDM? <coughs> this must be incorporated into the continuum uh, of care uh, in a GDM to refer to completely informed exercise professor. So nowadays, uh, we know that uh, uh, hardly anybody who is pregnant would go for exercise. They have a lot of uh, myths, they have a lot of fear of injury to the self and to the fetus. So most of the people, they don't uh, want to do it or they don't know how to do it. So it is very, very important that they must be informed, uh, uh, informed and sent to a people who are very well with exercise during pregnancy. We are lucky to have three people with us, uh, Mr. Karamjit Bhatia, Mr. Sarma and Mrs. Uh, Binafer, who are experts in giving uh, exercise advices to pregnant women. So anybody interested can interact with them uh, after the session. So it is recommended that women with GDM should do both uh, aerobic and resistance training exercise uh, with moderate intensity, at least three times in a week and for 30 to 60 minutes uh, uh, per, per session. In regards to evidence, uh, it is shown to be an effective tool in glucose control, which may prevent, reduce, or delay the need of insulin uh, during pregnancy. Tight glucose control is very much important to uh, because there is a risk of poor health outcomes both to the mother and the child. So, to prevent these uh, uh, bad effects uh, in the mother and the child, exercise is very, very important during GDM. So now, what is the role of exercise in GDM? There are no GDM specific exercise uh, perception guidelines, but most of the guidelines, they are studied in a non-diabetic uh, uh, patients during pregnancy. The fit uh, phenomenon is to be followed, that is frequency, intensity, time duration, and the type of exercise. So this fit principle has to be followed during pregnancy. Somebody who is previously sedentary, they must consult their medical practitioners and also assess the suitability uh, to do the exercise. We must refer to a qualified exercise physiologist because just referring to anybody who is not versed with exercise during pregnancy, they may be doing more harm to the patient rather than the good. And it is recommended that advice from the medical practitioners is carefully interpreted by the exercise physiologist. So this is very important. Just by referring to a physiologist or a physiotherapist uh, is not enough. But then there must be, uh, they must work in tandem. The doctor is the physio, uh, physical therapist. Sorry. Yeah. 
10 years later. So they must work in tandem, the doctor and the uh, physical therapist. And the uh, doctor must give an uh, exact prescription to the physical trainer that what precaution is to be taken uh, in that particular patient. And they must uh, do it in a tandem. So there are certain guidelines, uh, one is SCOG guidelines, one is uh, SCCM guidelines, that is American College of uh, Obstetric and Gynecology and American College of Sports Medicine. So they both uh, uh, recommend 140 bits per minute, that is SCOG, and 20 to 14 bulk scale. Now bulk scale, I think you must be knowing that bulk scale, initial bulk scale was from 16 to 20, and now the modified bulk scale is from 1 to 10. So according to the bulk scale, which is uh, defining the perceived uh, rate, uh, rating of perceived yeah. exertion. So according to this scale, they must be uh, advised. Duration should be not more than 50 minutes by SCOG and 50 to 30 minutes by SCSM. No superior position after four months uh, because it might compress the inferior vena cava and cause hypotension uh, uh, in a patient. And uh, our exercise that uh, employ the Valsalva maneuvers. Of course, because it is going to again uh, have effect on the blood vessels. And body temperature must not vary very much because just by one degree change of temperature would have a very bad effect on the fetus. So you must take care that body temperature does not fluctuate very high in a uh, patient. Now the benefits of maternal exercise to mother would be they would have lower fasting blood because they would have decreased low back aches uh, over the period. They would improve their cardiovascular functions such as fitness, blood pressure and peripheral edema. Pre-eclampsia chances would uh, reduce and pregnancy is a period which is associated with physiological and psychological changes. So the mood and psychological well-being also would be improved in a uh, GDM. Now the benefits to the fetus would be in form of lower heart rate response to acute maternal exercise, increase in the immunity to it, increase in the presentable viability increase in vascular functions, uh, faster percent of growth and greater villous tissue and higher tolerance to labor. So these are the advantages to the fetus. And any exercise that would increase your risk of falling with direct abdominal trauma should be of course avoided in the pregnancy. So to avoid uh, trauma to the uh, patient as well as the fetus. Now what exercise should you avoid for your pregnancy workout? So there are certain uh, absolute and relative contraindications uh, uh, for the exercise. So the absolute contraindications would be in form of uh, somebody who is having restrictive lung disease, uh, ruptured membrane, preeclampsia, pregnancy induced uh, hypertension, premature labor, persistent bleeding, uh, incompetent cervix, placenta previa, uh, hemodynamically significant heart disease or high order multiple gestation that is more than uh, twins or triplets. And relative contract questions should be in form of heavy smoking, history of extremely sedentary lifestyle, uh, orthopedic limitations, poorly controlled hypertension or blood pressure, extremely overweight or extremely underweight, severe anemia, uh, unevaluated maternal cardiac arrhythmias, IUGR, poorly controlled seizures or poorly controlled uh, thyroid functions, previous spontaneous emotions, anemia of less than 10, in pregnancies or uh, malnutrition or eating disorders. So these are the various absolute or uh, uh, relative contradictions to the exercise. Now the forms of exercise which are advised would be low impact aerobic exercise like walking, swimming, stationary cycling, not the routine cycle, stationary cycle to avoid falls, aquatic exercises, low impact aerobics and flexibility in form of yoga and uh, pilates. Uh, I think the prolonged session is uh, pilates. Okay, so Pirate is basically it is after name of the person who has invented this form of exercise, Joseph uh, uh, Pirate, I think. So he is basically a German person and he had invented this form of exercise, which is very, very popular, especially among the celebrities. Strength training uh, would be in form of uh, use light weights, repetition of 8 to 15, take good rest breaks, breathe evenly, exhale when you are pushing or pulling, and inhale on relaxation. And you must ensure good posture. This is very important because during pregnancy, uh, the center of gravity would change. So the chance of fall would increase during pregnancy. 
so you must ensure a good posture and ensure pelvic floor exercise like kegels exercise now the safety tips for exercising in pregnancy then you must avoid physical contact or high risk pulling like water skiing or horse riding exercising in too warm or too humid environment holding breath during exercise that is valsar maneuver as we say uh, doing exercise lying on the floor especially after fourth month that would again uh, compress the vena cava and uh, have a uh, effect on the blood pressure being still in the same position for a too long period this must be avoided ligaments become very uh, relaxed uh, in pregnancy so turning and twisting should be gradual because you might have poles as you may be able to turn very fast as compared to non pregnant person and you must have too many one sided exercises like walking lunges and single leg steps or in third trimester now uh, the benefits of exercising during pregnancy are you stay fit uh, there is ease of labor uh, you relieve stress and also relieves x in the body now safe exercising during pregnancy so there are certain uh, what exercise you must uh, do safely there are swimming walking pregnancy yoga and pilates and what exercise you must avoid would be skiing horse riding contact sports uh, jumping scuba diving and sit ups so these are the precautions you must take uh, while doing exercise in the pregnancy there are various certain do's and don'ts so what is advised is you talk to your doctor determine the uh, safe level of activity for you switch to low impact activities eat proper and uh, nutrients uh, during the uh, workout and stay hydrated be aware of the guidelines and which is not advised is starting a exercise program without physician consent participating in high risk activities being a uh, sedentary uh, unless so advised cutting back on necessary nutrients and continuing activity if pain or bleeding occurs so these are the precautions you must take now there are vast benefits of from exercising during pregnancy some precautions need to be observed to encourage safety of both the mother and the child so you must avoid uh, various activities like as i said before basketball rugby horse bag riding gymnastics and there are certain uh, uh, say uh, 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 conditions where you must stop or terminate the exercise so whenever you have vaginal bleeding dizziness headache chest pain muscle weakness preterm labor decreased fetal movements amniotic fluid leakage calf pain or swelling or dyspnea without any exercise so these are the things where you must terminate doing the exercise so there are the various yoga poses i think uh, these people can guide us better which yogas should be done and which should not be done so there are various yoga poses like child pose cat cow pose extended table top and butterfly uh, yoga positions which can be done so the recommended exercise programs for pregnant women with gestational diabetes parietus according to this fit protocol fit protocol so the frequency should you start you must start with 3 to 4 times per week and target to be more than 5 times per week uh, moderate exercise that is put to 60% of heart rate response start 15 to 30 minutes per session target should be 40 to 60 minutes per session and for reducing postprandial glycemia walk 20 to 30 minutes after the meals and the type of exercise as we discussed would be aerobic in muscle strengthening rest exercise combination is always preferred stretching relaxation and breathing techniques so these are the various uh, charts which are available uh, online or on net so what are the types of exercise that you must do during various weeks starting from 1 2 3 4 5 weeks these are again the four weeks pregnancy workout plans uh, which can be followed uh, according to the advice of the doctor and the physiotherapist for your uh, uh, guide okay so thank you so much this was about the uh, uh, role of exercise during dmn thank you